welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oklahoma is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wolverines having a wide receiver like this, I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there, he works hard in practice every day, and I think he really lifts the whole offense. I think he does. I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players. He's a guy that makes big plays, but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers, make sure that they're all on the same page, understand the route adjustments, understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking. So all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays. Uh, I think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player. Here he goes. And he's tackled at about the 41. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Where in the world is he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That makes it second and 14. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Fires out to his wide out. He's tackled at the 48. Good job here by the receiver. Look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he shoved out of bounds at the 24. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 13. And they make the stop at the 12. And this play is number eight on the drive. Two coming up here. Ball on the four. And he's taken down at the two. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. We've got third and goal. About a yard to Pater. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. 
He makes the PAT. So a 12 play, 75 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Throws it out right to the running back. And now he's got room to run. And down he goes at the 23. Slings it out and it gets tipped. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll bring him down at about the 31. Let's get the call. False start. False start. Off the bus. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. And a quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41 yard line. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 26-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. Inside the 10. Nice grab on the play. Tackle at the six-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. 
It was a 12th play, 88-yard drive, and the result, seven points. They get a tie game at 7-7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. They go to the left for a nice game. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. You gotta be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. We've played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Get to that quickly. Tackle made around the 18-yard line. From their own 18-yard line. Second down. Tackled the 23-yard line. He sails it long. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. On play action, he'll scramble. He's tackled around the 11 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. He's scrambling. Decides to slide. The quarterback picks up around six yards on the scramble. That'll make it second and four. job with some tough running right there when you get close to the end zone things get very tight and it's tough to maneuver and he adds the extra point Michigan ready to kick this one off nice kick plenty of distance This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Little handoff. Decent run here, right side. Looking for his man, incomplete. From their own 30 yard line, it's third down. And he hits 
him hard at the 40-yard line. They try to get a head start there. Ball start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Here's a draw. That's a great tackle at the 35. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. From the 15. Oh man, he took him down hard. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Michigan is up a score. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Short over the middle. And he's taken down at the 47. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. And he's level at the 39. That makes it third and three. Gets to about the 37-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. to about the 34-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Michigan up seven points. Looks to him again, complete. And down he goes at the 28. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision-making. Here's the eighth play of the series. Yard 
Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. He's on the run. Diving for extra yardage. So the keeper goes for about seven yards. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and it's good. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The Wolverines with a 10-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud, and they got three receivers to my side, and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's gonna wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He tackles him for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down to the 38-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. There's a strike complete. And they got him for a loss. Defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. They'll bring him down at the 33 yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Tackles him hard at the 43 yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. So it's 
second down and about two yards to go. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. time tackle around the 32 yard line that makes it six and six. from the 32 yard line second down runs outside for a nice game Second down. He scrambled. Tackle made at about the 15 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Scrambling. Nice play to set up first and goal. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. Boy, the defensive coordinator in the defense has to be very proud of their efforts of what they've been able to do to rattle this quarterback. He's really struggled on this drive. Now here they are facing a fourth down. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. He sends this one deep. And down he goes at the 17 yard line. Michigan's the type of team when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers. The way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage, I think it's giving them confidence and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Going long. Interception off the deflection. The ball hung up in the air just long enough for the defender to get to it. and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. With the pass, incomplete. And he's tackled right around the 
42 yard line. From the 42 yard line, first down. He's tackled around the 40 yard line. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 20 to 7, Michigan. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's going to try and scramble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. It's first and ten. Ball on the 28. and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. What a great catch by the wide receiver, and the guy who needs to be thanking him is the quarterback. That's not where he wanted that ball to go, but the receiver made the catch and saved the quarterback for a touchdown. And he hits the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wolverines have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude. And it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Zips it to the tight end. Locked down the 39-yard line. That's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Seven-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Kill, kill, kill! Motion. Steps out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Good pass to his receiver to get the first down. Nice throw and catch there to get past the sticks.
caught out in the open. They'll bring him down around the 20 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Just under three to go in regulation. And he throws it away. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires out to his wideout. He's brought down in the open field. Nice game, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Slings it. He's taken down at about the 11. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's to the 20. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. away here on third down. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 27-7, Wolverine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.